Hey, what's up guys? Grim here, and uh, I have another After Effects tutorial for you guys. Um, today it's going to be Twix Store and probably Twitch because they work well together. So um, just let's just get right into it. I'll grab the same file as last time, except I already know the clip I'm going to use. So yeah, and um, for my next tutorial, I decided I'm going to do some magic bullet looks tutorials and stuff, uh, maybe how to get it free and stuff, I don't know, but uh, where's the triple? Triple, 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 because it's got a nice pullback on the scope that I like. So I used it in uh, my trailer for the Sir Brady uh, deception montage, uh, I don't know if you guys saw that, but oh, there it is, okay, so. Start right there, and right there. Okay, and uh, first we'll make a new composition. 720 by, uh, okay, before you even start using Twister, you have to make sure that it's 1280 by 720, 720, or 1280 by 720, sorry. Uh, and the frame rate has to be 59.94, it cannot be 29.97. And if the clip is 29.97, it's not a big deal. I figured out that you can use Twix Store with a clip that is 29.97 because these clips are 29.97. Okay, so we have our clip and we'll just spread this out here to a little bit more. But there, so we can see our clip. And we want the Twix Store to start right about there. Her. Right about there. Okay, so um, we'll go to our effects and presets tab and we'll look up Twixter and see Twixter right there. Put that on, and you can see that now on the clip um, there's like a little blur, motion blur. So um, to get rid of that just a little bit, you go layer, frame blending, and check pixel motion. And in it just helps Twixter. I don't know, really know why, but it does. Um, Okay, so for motion sensitivity, I recommend like 72, you guys can play around with that. But okay, so we want our Twister to start there, so we're gonna go one frame back, and we're gonna go click the little stopwatch, er, no, sorry. We're gonna go here, effects, Twister, output control, there we go. Okay, and we're gonna click that, so that'll put a keyframe, then we'll go one frame ahead, and Five is a pretty good speed, it's pretty slow. So, yeah. Um, I think that's good. And by the way, if your clip is too short, then you click right click time, enable time remapping. Then just go like that. And, okay, we'll let it stop there. So we'll go back a frame again, and we'll put it to five. We'll click this little keyframe button. It's a keyframe. We'll go ahead again, and go to a hundred. So now if we RAM preview that should be pretty cool. And it'll be a little laggy for this RAM preview, but get through it. And don't put Twixter where there's lots of motion because otherwise there's lots of blur and it actually gets really ugly and I typically don't like it. So I'll show you what this clip will look like at the end of the tutorial. Just put a little clip in there. I'll render this out, put some music, sync it and stuff. Okay. So you can see it. It's a little glitchy. That's because there's a lot of motion. When it's a 29.94 or 5 or 29.97 frame rate, it's a little glitchy. But yeah. So uh, that's done. Now we want to split the clip where the Twixter starts by pressing Shift Command on Mac, Control on Windows and D, and that splits the clip. And then we'll go back to where the Twixter ends. And we'll split it. Oh shoot! Split it again. And for the first two clips, you want to delete your Twixter. So then there's no motion blur until it actually gets to the Twixter. 
you know, click on that one and delete it. And that's what I always do. I know a lot of people don't, but I tend to do that because I think it looks a lot nicer. So, okay, and then you'll see that time remapping fails. So we'll stop it there. So you have to you have to watch your clip completely, otherwise you'll you'll know that the time remapping can drag into another clip and then you'll render it out and it'll have like five extra minutes a clip. So okay, now that we've got our Twixter, um, we'll go like that and then we'll add some Twitch. And Twitch is a lot easier. So um, Twitch is the video video copilot one, not AE Twitch presets, but just video copilot Twitch and drag that onto our clip. And I believe it's this one that's on because you don't want it to go on the wrong clip. Yep. Okay, Twitch. And okay, Twitch. Uh, operator control wrong one. Okay, and then you'll go to here and I'll put it where the clip starts and I'll click amount zero and it starts up with zero and then we'll go right about there and put it to like hmm, 10 and we'll go into about the middle and we'll go to about 20 not 200 <laughs> um, then go to about there and then 10 and then to the end of the clip, and zero. Okay, so we got that, and now to enable Twitch to even work, uh, just put it in the middle to make sure we like what we see. Uh, put on slide, because that's mainly what Twitch is. Light, because it looks cool. Uh, color, and yeah. So you can change around with behavior and operator controls. I don't really like to bug with them, but it is your choice. So let's just quickly RAM preview what we've got. And Twister does take a while to RAM preview, I noticed that. But as you can see, it's got a nice, nice little twitch to it. And I really enjoy twitch. It works better with a dubstep, and I'm not the biggest fan of dubstep. So I don't tend to use it much, but it's a good effect and it, it's quite useful. Okay, we'll just stop it there. You can see it's a little twitch there. And, and just so you know, always mute the Twixter clip, otherwise the sound will continue on at normal speed and it's not pleasant. So that was a basic twitch tutorial and Twixter tutorial. Uh, so I'll show what this clip looks like in the end. I'll add some color correction and stuff and uh, yeah, so uh, this is Grim signing up. Peace. You want it all?